And welcome to Grandma's Corner in a Wealthy Place, where we are here with Grandma Wells on this beautiful Father's Day in 2020. And we're so excited to be able to celebrate the fathers. Fathers, I know you feel like you get slighted. You don't get the shout outs that you deserve as mothers do. But we do want you to know here at Grandma's Corner, we do celebrate you. We do appreciate you. And so this is all for you today. Yay! So Grandma Wells, how are you this beautiful Father's Day? I am doing just fine. Uh, just thanking so much of the many uh Fathers that have crossed my path and those that are, that have gone on beyond and those that are still here, I just want to let them all know that I love them and want them to realize that Father's Day is very important. It means a lot to the family. Absolutely. Well, yes. Well, of course, you know, I was always a daddy. I'm a mommy's girl, but I was also very much a daddy's girl. And I miss my daddy, but I know he's in heaven. And so just like he's in heaven, he's also there with my heavenly father. So we even say a big shout out to our heavenly father. Yeah. God, we love you. We celebrate you because we know you are the ultimate world's best dad as well. So Grandma Wells, is there, are there any specific shout outs you want to give to uh, on this Father's Day to anyone? Yes, I'd like to say, hi, Dave, my baby boy. I wish you a happy Father's Day. And to my son-in-law, who is like a son to me, Don, I couldn't make it without you. And Delvin and Dion, you are always there to ask Grandma, what can I do to help? And all the twins, the belated happy birthday. And to all the other fathers, my Adopted sons at Wayland Baptist Church, I just love you all, and you mean so much to me. Absolutely. Well, Grandma, and I know you have some wonderful nephews also, that and, and other grandsons that are awesome fathers, and we just, you know, celebrate all of you, every last one of you, because I know, mm -hmm. you, like you said, you, sometimes you get slighted. And uh, as being the role models, but I am proud of each and every one of you, my nephews, my, uh, my, my, my baby brother, David, Day Day. Yeah, I'm going to say Day Day. <laughs> You'll always be Day Day to me. I love you, sweetie. You are an awesome, magnificent, not just a man of God, but an awesome and magnificent father. And my, I don't like to say brother-in-law, but you're my brother in love, um, Don, and, and of course my older brother who's also in heaven with Jesus. Joe, I love you always have and always will. And all my my nephews, my cousins, I'm, I'm, we're just so blessed in our family to have so many. My uncles, you know, even though they're all in heaven now, we had, they were tremendous, not just uncles, but they were also father figures that we love and celebrate and appreciate you every day. Even though you may not be here on earth, you're always here in our hearts. So we do celebrate you tremendously. So we just want to give a great big God bless you. And I, I think we see something. We see a fellow because we have quite a bit of fishermen <laughs> in our family. So we real, real awesome dad has something he wants to say. <laughs> As he knocks over. All right. Yay! We wish you a real awesome happy Father's Day. So I just want to share one uh, one of my favorite memories with my dad. Like I said, he was a phenomenal man ahead of his time. And so many of you know Joe Wells. He was a man of God. He was um, a civil worker with the post office. Many knew him as tour superintendent, man of God at St. John AME Church. And also, he was also faithful servant with Wailing and helping mommy out. And also, even with Second Baptist, he was just a man after God's own heart and a giver. Uh, he was um, also took care of his mother and his father as much as he possibly could. His baby sister, his older siblings, he also took he took care of all of us during his lifetime. A tremendous and faithful and loving husband, Daddy. Yes, we just yes, love yes. you, 
and we miss you and we adore you and we celebrate you. But one of my favorite memories is my favorite memories now. <laughs> it wasn't my favorite memories then because I did not understand, of course, as a child. We thought as a child. So I thought at, during that time frame, I was being punished. But my, again, my daddy was ahead of his time. And every day after school, my daddy would make us sit at his knee. He would sit in his chair while mommy was in the kitchen cooking, making dinner. And he would have us sit down and read to him every single day. He made sure that we knew how to articulate words correctly. It was not the word, was not get, G-I-T. The word was get, T-E-T. <laughs> we would sit at the t- at dinner table. Then no, there was no TV on plane. There was no, uh, there were no uh for cell phones, we're sitting there looking and texting at each other. No, as a family unit, we would have dinner every single day together and we would interact and we would have conversations and talk about our day. And, but what also one of my favorite memories is, like I said, we would talk, uh, daddy would make us read to what uh, meet, read to him every day while my friends were outside playing and they were enjoying, um, the, the sunshine and playing. We would learn how to read, but I learned how to, I learned fractions by reading the stock market page. So by the time I was in middle school, no, not high school, by the time I was in middle school, I understood the Wall Street Journal. I understood highs and I understood lows. I understood the NASDAQ. I understood the Dow and the, the, the uh, whatever stocks that daddy had us invested in at the age of 9, 10, and 11. I was able to look those stocks up in the Wall Street Journal, in the newspaper, and be able to determine what seven eights were and being able to articulate that and have an understanding. And my teachers, by the time I got to middle school, my teachers were in awe that I had that type of comprehension and understanding, but it was because my daddy made sure that I understood. So with that said, that was one of my fond memories. I'm sure David has his memories as well as Karen and all of the grandchildren they love and and even daddy's nieces and his nephews. They all loved him and looked up to him, cousins and relatives and appreciated him. So even on this Father's Day, I'm going to share and I'm going to close out this segment of Grandma's Corner in a Wealthy Place with a poem that I wrote in honor of my father in 2010. And so with that, it's called A Father's Love. And it's based on John 3, 16. For, of course, for God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son. So God is the ultimate father. And also in Romans 8, 14, 17. A Father's Love. A Father's Love is special. A Father's Love is pure. A father's love is unconditional. My father's love is sure. A father's love you can depend on when things seem to fail, to give you an encouraging word that will help you to prevail. A father's love feeds you wisdom, even at times you don't understand. Truths that ring in your ears later in life that will enable you to stand. A father's love will rebuke and correct and then wipe away the tears. It will shield, defend, and protect, calming your doubts and fears. A father's love supplies your need, even when you don't have to ask, placing your comfort above his own, saying in his heart, this is my task. A father's love always answers whenever you may call, never putting you on hold, when your back is against the wall. A father's love spends time with you, making memories that last, (laughs) an endless present engraved in your heart that will outlive the past. A father's love makes sacrifice beyond what the eye can see to create an inheritance for generations to come and to leave a legacy. All of this I know because my father loves me in this way. Despite the hurts or disappointments I've caused him a many a day. (laughs) Whether he's the one on earth or the one in heaven above, rest assured there's nothing that you could buy or give that compares to a father's love. God bless you. 
Happy Father's Day. I hope you enjoy your day. And we love you. Anything you want to share, Grandma Wells, as a words of encouragement for our fathers as we depart. I, I would encourage our young people to treasure each and every moment that you have with your father, your father figure. Just let them know that you love them and that be able to learn from them because they say that you can learn more from the seniors as we get older, we like to share our ideas and whatnot. And we like to listen to, we have to be good listeners. But please let everybody know how much you love them, how much you care, and how much you appreciate them. Because tomorrow is not promised. Today is the day that you need to spend time with those that are closest to you. Amen, Grandma Wells. Amen. Well... Happy Father's Day! Happy Father's Day. Mwah, mwah, mwah. We love you. I know St. Peter. <laughs> You're a real awesome day. <laughs>